everything is assembled and it's time to put the decals on. Uh, as you can see, I uh, restained all the pins um, for the legs and I did go ahead and paint this, um, the engine mount tube with some paint and I just used a paintbrush on that and it looks pretty good. Um, everything is done up top, everything is painted. So let's pull it apart and start putting decals on it. Now the decals are vinyl and this is real vinyl. Um, and these things are expensive to print so be careful with them because if you need replacements they are expensive. Um, we, we have a special printer and I'll show you a little video of what this printer looks like and it prints very slowly about a um, less than an eighth of an inch every time the head moves back and forth. So it takes a full half hour to print this long decal. Um, the nice thing about it, it is vinyl, so it has a little stretch to it, um, and it's uh, waterproof. So if they get, if your rocket gets wet, they should should last. Uh, be careful with solvents. Um, you can spray it with a clear coat, but use very very light coats because the solvents um, I notice can. Um, actually um, soften the ink and make it run. So be careful with solvents um, and clear coats. They are crack and peel um, decals, so you'll just find the corner and then lift them up. Um, this one here, these are um, simulated stringers and it should go fit nicely between the fins. Pretty close. I don't think I get it all the way that way. I can live with it. <laughs> um, the, uh, the, the red and black bands I'm going to put on last um, because I, it needs to line up correctly. Let's, let's go towards the front of the rocket here. Um, these stringers here off. Give me a little more room. Okay, so these stringers here whoop, will go right here and they, they, they nest up against and they, the little corner goes around the front of the leg pockets. And I'll just roll it back down like that. Now the black ones, these black bars, Come on, let's get your corner. There we go. And they're going to go down here. Let's see if you can see that. Right up against the, the pocket. Okay. The uh, the little Apogee logo and the little hatch panel, they go at the top. Okay, so that's going to go right here between the strakes. Like that. And then the Apogee name We'll go just down the middle. So you just got to kind of look at it and find the middle. Like that. Okay. And I'll go ahead and do the rest of those in a second. But I wanted, since I have the black here, now. This is what I wanted to show you. So to put this together, it really helps to have a friend with you to kind of hold the legs. They kind of have a little bit of a wiggle room. Okay, so now you can see the black right here. And I want to put the 
on the red and black one, I want to put it opposite, I want to put the black on the opposite side. So I'll mark the middle here. So that's going to be the dividing line between the red and the black. legs are they're constantly in the way. Let's see if I can do it this way and still allow you to see what's going on. Oops. Okay, so I, I did the black and red first and I'll just roll it around. Yep, it's crooked. When you peel these up, peel them up very slow because they can stretch. Let me do it this way so I can see it. It's actually better to be long over the top of the tube because then you can take an X-Acto knife and you can cut them. Try to stretch it. Yeah, that's better. I can see if you can see that. I'm just a little bit off, but not too bad. And I'll take my exacto knife and I'll just trim off the top here. So what I'm doing is as a guide. This is the hardest one to put on, this red and black one. Everything else is pretty easy, even the ones on the nose cone, I think. <laughs> I'll probably prove myself wrong as I start putting them on. close I got. Yeah, that one's the closest. That one's not bad. All right, can you see that? So that's what it's going to look like and I'm going to go ahead and put the other ones on but let me show you the nose cone. Oh well the USA ones those are easy too. go down the middle again.
All right, that one's on. Now these have um, curvature to them. So now the first one is the light gray one. And that one goes an inch and a half from the bottom of the nose cone along the curvature of the rocket. So I'm gonna use a pencil here because I'm just gonna, I just wanna mark the position. And I'm gonna go around the tube in multiple places. I've gone all the way around and you probably can't see these little tick marks but I'm, I'm, I assure you they are there. So I'm going to take the first curved one which is the light gray. Okay. And my little mark is right there. So I'm just going to follow around. And this is where the stretchiness of the final really really helps. because it allows me to make it so it lines up perfectly. And it's a little long, so there is some wiggle room here. So if you don't get it in, this, uh, you know, if you put it too far this way, um, it'll still get around. And you can trim that off if you want, or you could leave it, just let it go over the top. Um, I'll just let it go like that for right now. Um, once you get the first one down, the, the second one and the third one are, are e easier. You just start it where you just butt it up against. You just line up the, that edge right there. Doing these wraps is a lot easier than painting, which is why I decided to use wraps. Now the, the final red one, it goes two and an eighth inches from the tip of the nose cone. So again, as before, just mark it with a pencil around the perimeter. For my edge so all the seams are on the same side. Voila, it's done. Now the, uh, the fit is a little loose, so you want to put some masking tape on there, make that a nice good friction fit. You got a big payload bay here, um, so you, you know you can put altimeters and all kinds of good things up in here, and it's really not going to affect the flight. It's actually going to make it more stable, which is good. Um, in the next video, we'll go ahead and do the final preps for flight, and uh, that should be the last one.